Hello, beta testers. I regret to inform you this game sucks. And guess how much they're charging? 60 bucks. A devolution so tedious and sad. I'm as disappointed as these developers' dads. Untested, unoptimized, who knew? Boil it, mash it, stick it in a stew. Roast this sorry piece of garbage alive. Make sure not a single line of code survives. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Another AAA, unfinished, dated, broken, unoptimized bucket of slop has been slid in front of you, consumer, and you're meant to pay $60, and that's if you don't want the language packs or iconic golem emotes to complete your experience, because they deserve not only the 60, but extra, even though the developers have been forced because of outrage, backlash, and terrible reviews to acknowledge the abysmal state of their defective product. With such lackluster performance and basic gameplay, of course people are right to liken this to shovelware. I would almost compare this to a game I'd get in a cereal box if that wouldn't be disrespectful to the genuinely insane Chex Quest. But this is more like a game you'd get with a Happy Meal. And not even like a Happy Meal. Not even like a Burger King meal. I don't know, man. Y'all got Crystal where you live? Yeah. So cute, Dad. Yeah, a game that even if it were firing on all cylinders and performing adequately, would still be boring. You have assassinated the character Gollum, an already tragic character now pathetically even worse in video game form, but for all the wrong reasons. Somehow you've done worse for Lord of the Rings than Rings of Power did. Are you proud of yourself? Because apparently... You guys get to make another one of these. So like and subscribe, beta tester, because I'll be right here ready and willing to stomp this into the dirt where it belongs. Not like it needed my help. You were doing a fine job before any of us even saw you. Can't even play devil's advocate because, of course, everybody's going to say, well, who's even asking for a golem game? It could be executed well. Could be but not by you people, especially when you're putting the amount of effort into your game that you did into this apology statement, because just like your game, you couldn't be bothered to proof read it. We would like to sincerely apologize for the underwhelming experience many of you have had with the Lord of Ring Gollum. Bruh, I don't know how many apology letters people need to add to their collections before they encourage people to stop pre-ordering not anymore it has been my pleasure force feeding reality to shills who need to defend corporation coon or their developer bot bodies consider the human they did their best they tried but when we're the ones forking it out for something that doesn't work i guess we don't matter it's abundantly clear some of these studios don't need my help bud lighting themselves on fire or putting a target on their back so allow me to share the progress that i'm observing within the types of people who get early review copies that i'm in communication with the dudes I mess with naturally are very honest when it comes to performance and things that are slacking in some of these games, but they would give these studios the benefit of the doubt and the assumption that by the launch of the game, some of these bumps would be smoothed out. This game was so bad, people could not play it.
And that's a trend that I'm observing and that people are not willing to risk their credibility over any longer by pretending that a day one patch is going to sort it out. So thank you, Gollum. The same way I thank Marvel's Avengers and I thank Redfall for just making people honest because they're not willing to lose everybody. You know, some people want to imply, oh, tell a Western bandwagon and you guys are just hating just to hate it. Oh, I think it's actually a really good game. You guys just can't see that. Oh, because you're on the bandwagon. <laughs> or maybe I respect myself. Choosing Gollum for a Lord of the Rings video game is a lot like choosing Kamala Khan for a Marvel superhero game. Blah. Shout out to the goblins and the mines on Steam. Games journalists are just stealing your sentiments for headlines. That's how you know they're good. For once, I don't need to get entirely too technical with how broken this game is. Everybody else is treating it the way that it should be treated. And I think you know. To the question, should you play Lord of the Rings Gollum? Should you pay for it? The answer is no, 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 no. It's already stuck. I can't back out of this menu. Frame times? That's awful. That is just some of the worst stutter that I've seen, even worse than the last of it. So look, I like you and I want you. And we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. Like the video, jump in the Discord. I don't feel the need to kick this too severely. It, it's getting what it deserves. It was uninspired, frankly, passionless in some departments. It, it was a high bar, the worst game this year. But Gollum, through sheer lack of investment no i don't think these people should be able to make anything else you know what i mean and i'm not going to get started but i hope it isn't a taste of what's to come with sushi squad by rocksteady because can you imagine you know this the, Gollum had the balls to take a language and some emotes and have that be dlc in this trash at the very least the east knows what to show us to compel us to purchase we can show off our person you know it's not modern so they're not deliberately making things ugly or removing feminine animations exclusively feminine unless it's fat women it's not positive it's not progressive bro you don't deserve the money we're not gonna bargain with you this isn't a negotiation we'll just take the business elsewhere and i know that you think that the target stuff that bud light stuff is just like oh it's another industry and it's very oh oh it's it's unique to that okay you are witnessing a shift in gamer sentiment as it pertains to this kind of crap why because it's starting to stack up People are starting to recognize the patterns. Somebody tried to accuse me of automatic hatred. But no, you can't get me. I had a problem with this phrase. Too much money and too much power is held by just a few people. And the interesting part is over 11,000 people then came out to this video. You know, maybe they watched the showcase independently, but they came to this video to then dislike another formulaic by the numbers generic waste of time and the cgi trailer at that mm. look if something's wrong with your brain maybe you have a condition i completely accept how normal you are as it pertains to recognizing some of the patterns that have been plaguing games for quite a while so ask somebody smarter to explain it to you in case you don't understand i am not impressed by virtue signaling as disingenuous as changing your profile picture for pride month we support you buy our product you know what i mean shut up shut up stupid and ugly out here you ain't you ain't ashamed to be this god <laughs>